You know how pancreatic cancer starts and why it is so deadly? In this video, we will discuss all these aspects. We invite you to watch it from beginning to end. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, now is the time to do so. Look for the word subscribe and click on it. It's free and you won't receive any charges. Subscribing keeps you informed and if you click the bell icon, you will be the first to see our new videos as you will receive a notification when we publish. The word join invites you to become an exclusive member of our channel. The pancreas is a vital organ located in the abdomen, right behind the stomach, in the middle part of the abdomen, and in front of the spine. It is situated between the stomach and the spine. This organ is fundamental because it is part of the digestive system and the endocrine system. The endocrine system produces hormones essential for the regulation and balance of our body. The pancreas has two main functions, and if they are damaged, the quality of life is significantly affected. The first function is the production of digestive enzymes, which are necessary to break down food for absorption into the bloodstream. These enzymes are released into the small intestine and are essential for digestive processes. The second function is the production of hormones, such as insulin and glucagon, which regulate blood sugar levels. If the beta and alpha cells of the pancreas are damaged, they will not produce these hormones, causing disorders in the endocrine system. Pancreatic cancer is particularly deadly because this organ is hidden behind the stomach and in front of the spine, making early detection of signs and symptoms difficult. Therefore, it is crucial to recognize the functions of the pancreas and be alert to the first symptoms of cancer, as early detection improves the chances of treatment and survival with a good quality of life. When pancreatic cancer affects a significant part of the organ, the production of digestive enzymes and hormones is compromised, resulting in weight loss, the onset of diabetes, and other health problems. There are several risk factors for pancreatic cancer. Smoking is one of the most important. Diabetes, especially if it appears recently, is also a risk factor as it could indicate that the pancreas is not producing insulin properly. Chronic pancreatitis, which is the inflammation of the pancreas, can lead to cellular degeneration and cancer development. Family history of genetic or hereditary syndromes, such as Lynch syndrome or familial atypical malignant melanoma syndrome, also increase the risk. Obesity, overweight, and old age, over 65-70 years, are other significant risk factors. A scientific study showed that the combination of smoking, diabetes, and an unbalanced diet greatly increases the likelihood of pancreatic cancer. Therefore, it is crucial to be aware of the risk factors and early symptoms, such as abdominal pain that radiates to the back, loss of appetite, unexplained weight loss, jaundice, yellow skin and eyes, light-colored stools, dark urine, skin itching, and fatigue. A recent diagnosis of diabetes can also be a warning sign. Pancreatic cancer is characterized by the degeneration of cells around the pancreatic ducts, affecting the release of enzymes and hormones. There are different types of pancreatic cancer, such as pancreatic adenocarcinoma, which surrounds the ducts, and neuroendocrine tumors that affect the hormone-producing cells. To prevent pancreatic cancer, it is essential to quit smoking maintain a healthy weight, and opt for a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and fiber, avoiding processed foods and sugars. Regular exercise and dietary changes can help reduce risk factors. By knowing the risk factors and symptoms, it is possible to detect pancreatic cancer early, improving the chances of cure and quality of life. If you find this information useful, please like the video and share it. Stay alert to any changes in your body, and consult a doctor if you have any doubts. By taking care of each other and our planet, we can form a community of support and well-being. See you in the next video.